look at this book. It's like half of my face. Do you see how giant this book is? Insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> to the most exciting video of the month picking up the books that i'm going to read for the next month and i just i can't wait this is my favorite video so i hope the next books will be amazing um if you're new here hi my name is daniela and if you're just looking at all of my other videos and you like you like what you see please subscribe please like and all that and let's pick the books i'm so excited okay so I have my little jar, my beautiful, beautiful jar, and we're going to pick some books. I think I'm going to pick three because I know there are three other books that I, I know that I want to read, and then we'll pick them from the shelf. I'm also very much a mood reader, so throughout the month, maybe I'll, I won't read the books that I pick, or maybe I'll read more than that. It just I don't know, this is a very fun video, but don't expect me to read all of the books that I pick from here. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but we'll just go for it, okay? Also, I have, let's make it two vetoes. So if I don't like the book, I'll just put it back and pick another one. Because if I pick War and Peace, I don't, I don't feel like I'm in the mood to read War and Peace. So um, let's pick the books. Okay. First one, too many fold down, but I'll just pick them later. Quite a small one, let's see. Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. So excited to read this one. Okay. Also, I got a new ring light and I hope the quality is slightly better, but the equipment is uh, slowly getting better, I hope. So this is the first one. Let's pick another one. We got this one. This is a long title. Okay, Tales of Mystery and Imagination by Edgar Allan Poe. This is such a long book. I already know it. Here you go, but I already know that it's going to be so much to read. I'm excited because it's a classic and I love classics, but We'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure I'm vetoing any of these, like Robin Hood, so excited to read it. This one, we'll have to see. And let's pick the last one. This one. Like a light blue. Oh, <laughs> I might veto this one, okay. This is Riders by Julie Cooper, and I'm pretty sure, okay, can you see it? I'm pretty sure this is like a 600 book uh, page book and I just, do I read that? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to do, really, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's, let's pick another one. Just let's pick another one in case I, I don't read writers or um, I don't know, just to have it on my shelf and then throughout the month I'll decide if I want to read them or not because that book is so long. If I'm thinking of the uh, right book, it's so long. But okay, let's pick another one. Please be short, please be short. Okay, okay, I'll pick something. This is a small, small thing. So let's hope all the titles also. Oh, okay. So we got Heidi by Johanna Spiri. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is quite a short one, again, a classic. I will definitely read this. Let's see now all the other books and um, let's pick them up and then I'll talk about every single one, including the ones um, that I said I will read them and the ones that I haven't picked from here. Okay, be right back. So I might have filmed the entire video and completely forgot about the most important part. And I could refilm the whole thing, but I feel like that would be dishonest. And honestly, I'm just very, very lazy. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, <laughs> we're going to put this in the beginning of the video and start with the March book. 
I hope this is yeah this is the right month because I did all the books and I forgot about the most important one like a dummy so this is the March book very important uh, the most important book of the month um, let's open it up and see what it is because um, for those who are new here every well at the beginning of the year I wrapped 12 books and each month I open one up and it's supposed to have the letter of that month so March is three so the title is supposed to have the number three in it uh, all the books I bought here are from second hand so it just makes it more exciting because I have no idea what the book is about it gives me the opportunity to discover new genres and all that so let's see what we have for March Ta -da! Ooh, for March we have three stories by Alan Bennett I don't know what this book is about but it's a short book and I am so excited because you'll see further in the video but there's one insane ridiculous suicide just just saying um but yeah this is three stories by alan bennett this is the book of the month and thank you for listening back to the original video we're at the bookshelf let's pick all the books and and then talk about them yeah okay uh i have more papers right now because i added the ones that i knew that i want to read and now i'm just going to take every single one so first we have tales of mystery and imagination and maybe somewhere in a different world. okay i'm pretty sure this book isn't here let me check quickly in the other one and then i'll be right back okay i was right it was over there and as i said it's quite a thick book and the t writing is tiny, so tiny. But let's look for all the others and then talk about them. This is one. Then we have writers. This mammoth of a book. Insane, insane. Uh, then we have Heidi. This is Johanna. My mom's a bug inside a tree. Her. Found it. It seems like my organization of the bookshelf did absolutely nothing, but we're not gonna talk about it and just look for the next book. Okay, the next book is Robin Hood, and I've seen this one, it's over here. We have Robin Hood, and then the ones I wanted to read, we have this one here. Oh. And then this and this and I'll rearrange my bookshelf later let's talk about them okay so I have all my books with me let's first talk about the ones that to be read jar picked for me and see if I'm going to read them or not some of them maybe I'm not perhaps I already know which one is or not but um, let's talk about them and then we'll see so the first one is Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert this one I'm really excited to read, like I've actually really wanted to read this for a long time. Also it has really nice pictures. Whoa. See how pretty? Like I'm, I'm genuinely excited to read this. I love um, everything there's about like tales or myth or legend. So really excited to read this one. This is definitely a must read. Yes. Now we have, let me take this tag off. Then we have Heidi by Johanna Spiri. And as you can see, um, again, I really look forward to reading this. Um, I know the story of Heidi. I'm not like the cartoon, you know, when everyone watches as a child. Never actually read the book, so I'm really excited to do so. Again, a must read. So far, so good. But we're going to the bad ones, okay? I'll leave, I'll leave this one to last. Let's talk about Edgar Allan Poe, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. First of all, this book, it's a big book and I very much have a big book fear. Uh, this one has 496 pages. Yep, 
496 pages and one could say that is too many pages and as I said before the writing is tiny tiny I just we'll see how it is I will start reading it but if I don't like it I'll just I'll pick something else because I don't want to get in a reading rut because of a book um, so this is the third book and now I don't even know how to introduce this book afterwards I picked Riders by Jilly Cooper this thing first of all bought it just for the fun of it look at this book it's like half of my face do you see how giant this book is insane absolutely insane there's no way anyone anyone has so much to say about a book it has oh god <laughs> it has 919 pages 919 they know a lot of words concise is not one of them what is this what do you have to say in 900 pages is just oh my god and the writing torture do you see how small this is insane like criminal offense like electric chair what what do you have to say in 900 pages it's just insane insane i will give it a try i absolutely do not promise that i will manage to read this because this is a mammoth as you can see probably thicker than uh, Les Miserables. I wouldn't put it behind it. I know that book is giant. But do you see this one? Do you see it? I don't even know how I'm going to read it because like it's such a big book. This is the kind of book you would need um, what is the name of that thing? A Kindle to read it for? Because it's just giant. Like what do you have to say in 900 pages? I feel offended. I feel personally attacked. What is this? I just offended. Electric chair. I, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, now that that is over, those are my to be read books decided by my jar. And let's go to the books that I'm actually excited to read because I picked them myself. Uh, first of all, once again, I want to read All Creatures Great and Small by James Herriot. Um, I've already started it, as you can see. I've already read a, quite a big chunk. Uh, it's a really, really interesting book. Um, and it's one of those that are on my list of books I want to finish in 2024, because I started it last year, I believe. Um, it's really interesting. It's just it's quite difficult to go through. Not difficult, it's just I read a bit of it and then I want to read something else. It's a book. I like to process. I don't want to rush it. It's, it's lovely. I genuinely, truly, truly enjoy it. But I can't just read it in one go. I, I need time for this one. But I do hope I will manage to finish reading it in March because uh, at the beginning of the year I had exactly 12 books I wanted to finish in 2024. And if I like read one a month, I'll be on track. So this is the March one. I really hope to finish. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, then, let me leave these for last. Then we have You're Not Old, You're Just Not That Young by Harvey Little. Um, this is like a one time read, well, one sitting kind of read because it's just a bunch of quotes. Again, bought it from a secondhand bookstore, had no idea what this book was about. The cover seemed interesting, the title um, piqued my interest. So I bought it, but again, just a bunch of quotes should be a breeze to go through. And it's just something easier considering all the books that that I will have to read in March. You know, I, I will need a little break from them. So this is when that book will come in charge. And then for the most exciting part, the most wonderful part, I have these two books. How amazing is this? I have Heaven's Official Blessings. Uh, the first and the scum villains self-saving system uh, again the first volumes both are by uh, Mok Sang Tong Tzu hope I'm pronouncing that right um, and I'm just 
really look forward to reading these. I I begged my friends to buy these for me for Christmas and they did. Thank you very much. And um, I just, I'm really excited to read this because once I read this, I can start reading the manhua. So exciting. Um, and yeah, it'll be my first time reading a novel that has a manhua. So really, really excited for both of these. And I want to see if I'll love them uh, as much as I think I will. And if I want to purchase the, um, just the next volumes or not, I think I will, but we'll see in the future. So these are the last two books that I plan on reading in March. Probably the first ones that I will be reading in March, to be completely honest. And yeah, those are all my books. Let me see, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a lot of books. Um, <laughs> eight sounds reasonable, but then you remember that one of them is half of my head and it just doesn't seem reasonable anymore. Um, so these are, whoa, okay, okay, okay. I have two hands, I can do this. These are all the books I plan on reading in March. How exciting is this? Just, ah, oh, can't wait. This pile, definitely I'll manage to read this. This one, mm, we'll see, you know, I promise nothing. I also have a full-time job, like, let's be realistic over here. So yeah, these are my books I'm going to read in March and yeah, that's it, really. I'm just, if you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to say anything to me, write it down below. And if you like this video, leave it a like, leave it a, I already talked about comments, so maybe subscribe, consider it. I'm not forcing you, but it would be nice. And yeah, that was it. Bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.